guys, so welcome back to the Infamous Lifestyle channel. And today we have a special guest. You guys, I've asked for it. Kind of get you guys' opinion. If you wanted to see this beast of a machine back out, and every time I would ask, you guys said, yes, 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 we want to see it. We want to check it out. And here it is. Finally, finally made a little bit of time for it. The weather's kind of been going on and off for us, so it's been kind of difficult. We've had other little deals going on, but I hope you guys are ready because we're finally, finally going to get it out, let you guys see, enjoy. And right now, I'm just going to do a little walk around for you guys um, now that we have it out in daylight. We've taken it to a few meets here and there, but this is the Kawasaki Ninja H2R. Obviously, from the, starting from the front end, you can see the whole carbon front end. There's no, there's no headlight on this. You can see the, the air filters on both sides. I mean, that just sucks in air, which this bike desperately needs. You have the carbon fiber front wheel. Um, all the fi carbon fiber, the winglets, you know, the up here for, for the mirrors and down here on the side fairing. And I mean, look at the color. It's just a metallic green. Uh, moving from there, we've done a little bit of kind of engine protection, little protections on the bikes, um, but the exhaust. I mean, you, you could get a Van Diemen for a regular H2, but this exhaust only comes on the H2R. And I mean, look at it. It's just, you can't beat that titanium look. Um, from there, we went ahead and got the rear sets. The rear sets, in my opinion, were desperately needed just for this bike. In order for us to have that uh, GP shifting, you know, uh, kind of makes it easier for us, I would say, at least for me. Yeah, we could do the normal shifting, but with all the bikes being a little bit different and having the GP shifting, just switching back and forth is a little bit of a pain. So we went ahead and did it. You know, we wrapped up the back with the carbon fiber, obviously the rear wheel and the carbon fiber tugger uh, back here. But you can't forget, a lot of you guys probably don't notice, I haven't noticed, but we're, we did the subframe, the carbon fiber subframe, which to me, it just kind of adds it a, a little bit more of that, that style, that flair, you know, kind of, kind of continuing the whole carbon fiber throughout the whole bike. Because like, like I mentioned, you go from the front with the carbon, these were little add-ons, you know, with the carbon as well too. So it just kind of wraps around the bike, ma making it look very, very clean. You know, luckily it does have a tail light, you know, so people behind me, you know, riding around stuff like that, you can, you, you can see me braking, you can see me slowing down, which is a, it's a plus. And it's still, still stock gearing. So you still got a 42 uh, sprocket in the rear, and I can't recall the front one, um, but it's very, very torquey with the stock gearing. It's very, very uh, hard to tame with this gearing, if I do say so myself. So we're probably, I'm gonna start looking into maybe messing with the gear. Um, a little bit later, you know, we just, I just wanna kinda get it out there. You know, it's just honestly, this bike doesn't get enough attention, enough love from us. So. Uh, just kind of get it back out for you guys to kind of enjoy it too, but we have a lot of other things planned for it. I'm not sure exactly where uh, we're going to go with it, but I feel like the gearing is going to be a, a one, one of the things that we might switch out on it. So I'm super excited. I mean, look at the bike. Like you can see from here to the titanium, the carbon. I mean, the way it just glows on the, with the sun, it just pops that carbon out So um, from the wheels. So it's, it's super clean. Let me do a quick little startup so you guys kind of see what we're working with. So, and see, that's the thing. Um, this bike right here is probably the loudest bike you're going to be able to hear. So, give me a sec. So, that's a. That's not a cold start, but. I mean, this bike just, just, it don't need a cold start to be honest with you. This is just good enough. You know, a few revs. Yeah. And you can see it's smoking a little bit. It is cold right now. It's probably in the 50s. So as soon as this bike starts warming up, I mean, it's going to be a beast. So let me go get ca caught up with the guys, get back, see what they want to do, where we want to ride. And you guys are going to get that first uh, person or third person or 
put it down in the comments what kind of personal experience you're going to get. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. So stay tuned. Thank <laughs> you. 